Hi, Cybersruce here, back on our Antimatter Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 142. And finally, it took a day longer than expected, but I did get up to enough antimatter here, and you met E213.5 million, to get four ghostly particles. Um, and why I wanted four so much is because I'm gonna get to unlock a new boost. So and here, here you go. This is this is gonna be a pretty, pretty OP. 19 quantum, so that means I'm gonna get some brave milestones as well. So here we go. Three, two, one, bam. And yep, of course, you can ghost. You have four ghost particles, um, and there's some stuff showing. So let's see what brave milestones. So basically, yeah, everything's already OP. We're already getting quarks without needing to, like, do any, do, do any quantums because of the brave milestones. Um, I'll get to this in a little bit. So, meta dimension boosts do not reset on quantum except entering a quantum challenger big rip. So this is just going to help me gain quarks faster. I'm just going to lead to, like, more potential to just do quick quantums. Um... So, and then, normal replicants do not reset on quantum, except when entering quantum challenge or exiting big rip. So this, this means that, that, it's not going to be a grind, like, getting all the replicants again, like, getting the emperor dimensions, every quantum. Now, this is start with 10 worker replicants on Ghostify, and neutrinos persist on Ghostify. So this means, we still have all our neutrinos. Um, then you, this one's OP, because you gain... Um, the square root of your quarks, the square root of your gluons, and 1% of your space shards on quantum every second. Which means that, at least initially, I can easily get quarks and gluons. Um, it, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's OP to be able to do that. Like, it's, it's not, I mean, quantuming is, is more efficient, but it still it helps early on. And then, 1% of your space shards is just that, that thing... That boost is overpowered. Like, um, and then this is start ghostifies with 10 second emperor dimensions. So that means we go over here to, into like replicants. We have, actually we can go into emperor dimensions. We already have second emperor dimensions. It's pretty cool. This is um, the ones that I still need to get are 10 fourth emperor dimensions, 10 sixth emperor dimension, 10 eighth emperor dimensions. These don't seem all that powerful, but whatever. Um, Stark Ghost of Eyes with first 16 Nana Fill rewards. That's pretty OP. Stark Ghost of Eyes with 10 Subtilian Cork Spins and Branches are 10 times faster. Um, yeah, the, that one's pretty good because the 10 times faster. That's the OP part. You start, And then this is you start Ghost of Eyes with Break Eternity Unlocked. You keep Break Eternity Upgrades and produce 1% of Eternal Matter gain on Eternity each second, which is OP. This is game 1% of quarks and a quantum each second. You keep tachyon particles on quantum goes if I accept it. Yeah, so so essentially there's just going to be some more brave milestones coming. Now let's check the neutrinos tab. So um, there is actually a um, one more upgrade I can actually purchase here. Um, but first I, I want to unlock the new boost. So here we go. The next one costs six. They boost the limit of the 14th dilation upgrade from 3 times to 3.84 times. So, what is the 14th dilation? Oh, it's, it's this one. Meta dimension shifts, boosts, and proton upgrades are boosted by dial at a time. So, what that's going to do, I th oh yeah, I need dial, dial at a time. So, it's going to make this upgrade more powerful. So, you can, you can already see, yeah, like the quarks are going crazy just because I've, I've dial at a time. And now this is even stronger it's limited to 3.84 times, which I can't even, I can't even max that out. That's how overpowered it is. And, well, and then also gluons. I'm guessing I'm just going to have to, hopefully there's an automator ghost for this. Did I even get any more automator ghosts? No, I still have 4.42, which is the same. I apparently get the next one at 4.5. I have zero automator charge, whatever that is. Um... And you gain three times more electrons. That's pretty powerful. It's gonna, it's gonna nerf some of the other things, but that's that's a pretty powerful upgrade right there. Um, because that means I don't know how many electrons I had before, but now I probably have a ridiculous amount of electrons. 
at least when I go like quantum again. So yeah, this this is OP. Like I don't even I don't have any nano field rewards. I don't have anything in Tree of Decay. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how many quantums I want to go for. Um, I I'm not gonna be going for six ghostly particles. That is that is a little bit crazy. I'm just gonna go for two because it's gonna give me five times as many neutrinos. So that that will I think really help things and also this it's gonna make it so I can get just more more quarks so and I've e308 dilated time already this I feel like this is about the point where I should do my first quantum I'm still gonna need to quantum unfor unfortunately but that's what happens and I, and I do think this boost is just gonna like become obsolete um when I get more quarks, so yeah, that, that'll that'll happen. But it's still gonna be very powerful, and I I think my yeah my prions still reset, but since my replicants don't reset, it's re it's really um, the worker ones do apparently reset. So at least it's gonna be like more initial power, like that. That's what I'm getting. And see, I have a good amount of. Gluons, they're increasing linearly, and I can I can dilate. That wasn't as powerful as I thought it it might be. Um, I still can't get any of this. I have a lot of electrons. I'm getting 36 electrons per galaxy. It's pretty OP. I'm guessing it just oh yeah. Wow, I need to turn that back on because I didn't do that before. Maybe I should just eternity, and this is... Actually, no. I'm in my big rip preset. Once I actually go into my real production preset, then everything's going to go crazy. Because that preset was meant for big rip. It was not meant for anything else. The quantum might have, might have actually been useless. Because I'm getting so... I can get so many quarks that it's possible that I didn't even need to distribute all of them. Who knows? I, I, especially if I dilate. Look at that. E140 tachyon particles. Which I'm guessing is going to lead to a lot of quark gain. Is there... And then... I guess I can grind neutrinos, but... I don't really even need to do that. Like, I, I don't really think... I know eventually I have to go, to go for the three times milestone. But at this point, that's going to be impossible. And... I've, I've, like, the three times milestone. How is that going to be possible? Like, I, I'm really not sure. I, I still think I, I, maybe if I just, like, get, like, the ten times milestone, maybe that's all I need. Like, that's what I'm thinking a realistic goal is, to try to go for the ten times. I'm not, and I, I think I know, I do know you can go from ten to three pretty easily. Especially if we do neutrino grinding. So, I, I can turn on the big crunch auto buyer. I mean, it's not all that good. Especially considering this is actually getting me the, the type of neutrino I don't really need. So, yeah. And it's going to be more powerful when I just have more antimatter and all that. So, I'm just going to... I don't really need to do that at this point. And... Also, I can get I can get a triple the amount of tachyon particles gained, but not much more than that. So, I'm just gonna go for another quantum. I I really feel I feel like that is what I'm what I'm supposed to do because that, it will allow me to get more more of this, more of this, and just once yeah once I get a few more of these, I can just max that to get as many emperor emperor dimensions as I can. Um, what, what else? Meta dimensions? I don't think anything else... Of course there's dilation. It's not as much as I may hope for, but I, this quantum is going to be a pretty good source of, of, of neutrinos, hopefully. So I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do that. Because this should get me to a... I want to get like E8 of every neutrino. Which is 100 million. I mean, I, st I still think I'm I'm on a good neutrino count. Honestly, I don't even need to do this. But I think what I do need to do is w is once is get more quarks, which means getting more gluons, which 
means um, getting or, what, um, you're gonna get more gluons, which means I can get more Emperor Dimension stuff. That's I think what I need to do. So I may be quantuming way too much at this point. I'm really not sure what a good amount, but I can get all the way up to seventh Emperor Dimensions with this. So I I really shouldn't be just like regretting. Like I I don't think this would be like a good excuse to like regret because. Because getting all the way to seventh Ember Dimensions is is pretty OP, and we can get we can, we can also get a lot of quarks here. So yeah, I can I can get that. Um, it's, there's no achievements that are easily available. Like eventually, I'm gonna need to to get them, but I'll go for them later. Like I can already get almost E three oh eight quarks, so I don't think that was a waste. Like especially, I'm I'm probably gonna just gonna do one more quantum here. Which is going to allow me, like maybe after I I do some some dial dilation dilation here, I don't think there's much is there anything else I can do to try to speed things up. I have more automator charge. I'm, I'm really not sure what the automator charge does. So, I mean the replicanti is very powerful. Is there any? Um, I'm still in my optimal build at this point. And yeah, this, this is like as much else I can do. Keep all the electron upgrades. Can't start Tree of Decay yet. I think at, at E300, you can start Tree of Decay. So I actually sort of just want to go to E308 just because, just because I can, because yeah, E308. And then that'll allow me to get to the next quantum. Or, I'll allow me to get to the eighth Emperor Dimension, which in turn will allow me to get nano field rewards. So here we go, E308 quarks. It's gonna allow me to get um, more more of this. Actually, I didn't even need that quantum food. And there we go, 19 eighth emperor dimensions. Which hopefully means, yeah, we can start Tree of Decay. And it's, I don't even need these second upgrades. Maybe I can get just one of them. Um, but I don't think it's speeding up things at all. So crazy we're already we are already to the tree of decay phase just one episode in Actually, i didn't even get i feel like i missed these but i don't think i did but yeah <laughs> already on tree of decay it's gonna allow me this is gonna allow me to dilate for a lot of tachyon particles so at least, at least there's that and then once i start getting more like once i start getting 9600 I can start using these upgrades to my advantage because I don't really need these because they're just all being automated so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna come back a little later and see where where I am hopefully I can do do a nano field run after all this so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out